Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be going over today is that we are looking at how to find the area and perimeter of a regular pentagon. So a pentagon is just a, a shape that has five sides to it. A regular pentagon is a pentagon that has all of its five sides being equal in length. So this side is stating that it's seven inches. So a regular pentagon will be seven inches, seven inches, seven inches. And you guessed it, that last side would be seven inches. So just make sure you're dealing with a regular pentagon before moving forward with these areas and perimeter calculations. So the area will just be how much is inside this pentagon? How much do we have going on inside here? So this equation for a regular pentagon for its area will be one quarter times the square root of five times five plus two times the square root of five, all of that square rooted, and then all of that multiplied by a squared, where a is just the length of your side. Well, since you have all sides equal, it doesn't matter which one you pick. Now, this portion right here can be, um, simplified down and you can have your area calculation become this because it is a regular pentagon it becomes 1.7205 times a times a because a squared is just a times a and this whole portion right here becomes 1.7205 so the area calculation we're just going to plug in seven inches for a here so it's 1.7205 times seven inches times seven inches. And this gives us a total area of 84.30 inches squared. Keeping in mind that we need a squared unit here because area is always dealing with a squared unit. Whenever you see a squared unit, in this case, squared inches or inches squared, that lets you know you are dealing with an area. All right, so our next one is perimeter. So perimeter is just how much it takes to get all the way around your object. So pretty much with perimeter, you just want to start at one point and then work your way around adding up all the dimensions you encounter until you come back to your starting point. So since we have a five-sided shape here with this pentagon, you're going to add five numbers together. Now, there is a short way to do it and a long way to do it, so we'll show you the long way. So we would have seven inches, plus seven inches, plus seven inches, and then we need two more. So another seven inches, and lastly, the last seven inches. So we have five seven inches there to get all the way around our regular pentagon, which gives us a total perimeter of 35 inches. Now, since it is a regular pentagon, we can also do our perimeter a little bit faster, and it'll be like this. Well, since it is a regular pentagon, all the sides are gonna be equal. And since it's a pentagon, we have five of them. So we can just say five times our side of A, where A is the same thing that we used as before in the area calculation. So this would be five times seven inches, which gives us 35 inches as a perimeter to get all the way around this object. Keeping in mind, perimeter is a distance parameter. It is a distance measurement. So whatever your distances for your sides are measured in, in this case, it's inches, your perimeter has to match that unit. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.